Namaskar. Welcome to Share Every. This is a moment of pleasure for me. I'm really honored that I've got this opportunity to grace the occasion. I'm Mrs. Sandra Almeida, a coach and assistant professor from Maharashtra, India. I'm playing various roles in Share Every, that is being a moderator, sometimes being a guest speaker, associate director at the rates parties in Share Every, and team member, a SMAC committee member, a SMEC committee member. Really, I'm thankful to Coach Ram Babu sir and Share Every for giving me this opportunity to be associated with it. I'm really proud to be one of the member of Share Every. Today, I'm a scorecard holder and a Share Every. And now, I would love to invite our guest of honor, Coach Chris Hamilton, sir. Sir has been traveling with Share Every since so long, and today he is a scorecard holder. He is a Share Every. I'm proud to say that today he is there to grace this occasion with a beautiful topic that is the upgrade. It is a time where we should know, we should upgrade ourselves, we should have some skills. Instead of gossiping about others, let's invest in ourselves. So let's know more about that from our guest of honor. And please help me, all of you, to invite Coach. Please spread your seeds of knowledge in our garden of Share Every. Thank you and over to you, sir. For that wonderful introduction and um thank you uh it it's been two years share every two years since i was uh connected with you and have seen you grow on this awesome journey um i, I just want to just honor coach from uh for his his you know steadfastness and keeping the vision alive if anyone has ever done anything or had to build anything at all you know it's not easy to do this but you have a great team that's around you. I see some familiar faces, Sandra Amida, Coach Yuri. I see uh, Sandra Volks there, Coach Sandra. Uh, I see some familiar faces uh, that I remember from the last time that I was here. So, And I see some new ones that I don't recognize as well. So it's good to see that the family is growing. And, and I, too, have been now proud to say that I am an international speaker because of the Share Every platform. I am now able to speak to the multitude of countries that are represented in here, and I count that an honor. Um, it, it, I count that an honor that you know that you say it's you got to count it a privilege and an honor when when they say someone outside your town knows your name. That means you are doing something well. You are doing something when they know, not only know that they know your name, but then they ask you to come back. So it's, a, it's, a, it's an honor to be able to say that I can come back with family. And I love the vision of, of the Share Every platform and how you are teaching and expanding minds. And now uh, I'm even seeing on this third formation or anniversary at learning how to cross the border, but, um, you know, on that third formation, this is a year of expansion. And I'm seeing some expanding territories that are going on here. I see you now moving into Africa, which is a, a place that I love to visit and love to connect to. I see you now moving into the United States and, 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 and expanding your, your footprint. And, and you know what that tells me? That tells me that you're not, you're not settling for your past success. You're not settling for what was good. So my topic that I want to share with you today is called the upgrade. 
Now, in this time of technology that we have, you know, some of us, you know, upgrade our phones every year, every two years, and we have our technology that we have right now. But, and you're like, that upgrade is just a money grab, or <laughs> they're just trying to get more money out of me. But the purpose of an upgrade is actually to help you to maximize the tools that you have, maximize the information that you have to take you to another level. And as an organization, you're going to have to not be settled with the success of the last three years, because it's really good to say, well, what's worked the last three years will work the next three years. And that's not necessarily true. Over the last three years, we international pandemic that changed how we, we, we viewed the world. I don't think I would be the speaker that I was today if I was not able to upgrade during the pandemic. The upgrade during the pandemic, like I said, nobody knew my name. Now nations know my name, not just share every, but nations know the name, right? I feel good that share every knows my name, but nations now know the name. Why? Because I was able to upgrade myself during the time when the world looked like it was about to reset. Now, when I was a kid, we had games, right? We had video games, we had Nintendo systems, and we had to be able to reset the game system when things started to act funky, right? So there's a little button that allowed us to reset the game system so that the, the, the system can reset, refic reconfigure, and play the game the way that it was designed to do. And that's what I'm challenging you to do today is that there's going to have to be an upgrade. Share every is moving. There's going to have to be an upgrade for how you're going to interact with the world going into 2023. I'm already in 2024. Why? Because I'm ready and I'm updated and I'm maximized in my up way of thinking. Even though I'm doing great and I'm having a great year, I'm going to have to do more, learn more, and be better for what's to come. Again, if I show you a phone that I had from three years ago, that phone is slower, laggy, the call quality is not the best, the camera is not the best for what I'm doing. I'm actually on my video now from my camera on my phone. I'm able to now talk to people from out all, all over the world and broadcast over the world with HD quality. But if I had my phone from three years ago, the picture quality wouldn't look the same. Some of you may be saying, well, I like the old. I like what was tested. I'm comfortable with what was tested. But when it becomes outdated, you have to question when the things become outdated and your methods become outdated, are you as effective as you could be? And that's a thought for you. Yes, this is how we raised our family for generations. But is it effective to raise my family this way with the dynamics that are around me? Do I need to be flexible enough to make some adjustments? And as I was talking to Coach Sandra before the call, there's a little bit of uncomfortableness when I don't know if that's a word, but uh, there's a little bit of, the, of being uncomfortable when you have to deal with the upgrade, right? Because you're looking at the upgrade and you're saying, well, I don't know. And you're afraid to just confess that you just don't know. But it's okay. Everybody just look at the screen and say, I don't know. And I'm going to look back at the screen and say, it's okay. Because some of the areas that you're going to have to upgrade this year is your relationships. You're going to have to upgrade your relationship because in this upgrade season that you're about to walk into, there are some things that you're not prepared for and that you can't walk alone with. And you're going to need the skill set of another to fill in the gaps and where you're not able to do. Nobody said you have to be able to do everything, but you got to be flexible to flow with the new move. So you got to, in your upgrade season, make room for the right people to come beside you and help you in the areas that you need to upgrade with. 
And in order for you to do that, you're going to have to upgrade your vision this year. What is your vision? Your vision is how you see the world around you. So if your vision is outdated, are you as effective as you can be? What I see myself now, when I started my business of being a speaker, I saw myself an international speaker. I wanted to be an international speaker, right? That was one of my goals. I saw it as clear as day I saw it. But as I started to move on here, what Cher Every has taught me was that you can be an international speaker or you can be a global speaker. I had to upgrade my vision of what I thought was effective. I put my foot on the ground and I was so happy because when COVID came, right before COVID came, I was going to come to London, England, and I was going to be a, my, my international speaking title. I was going to speak my first time. I was going to tear that stage up. They were going to know who I was. And then COVID came and shut down the airport, shut down the conference center. And where was I? Stuck in New Jersey. But I was able to upgrade myself. And when I was upgrading myself, I became virtual. Now, if you look at some of my stuff from seven years ago, when I first put the camera on, or three years ago, when I started to just coming from the camera, it was horrible. The lighting wasn't good. The background picture wasn't good. Everybody was doing YouTube. I was still on MySpace. It looked that big of a difference. But in my upgrading, it began to evolve. And I began to become more effective. I began to realize that I need certain lighting. I needed certain grades of computers. I needed certain technology things that I had to upgrade on. Right? And look at me now. I'm on the share every platform and my microphone works. My computer doesn't glitch. I have enough bandwidth from my internet to have a conversation without me going. Ah. All that came in the upgrade. Now, when I was talking about being an international speaker versus a global speaker, what, what am I talking to now? I'm talking to multiple nations multiple countries on one call. Would you rather be international or would you rather be a global teacher? I started to upgrade a global teacher. I'm a global teacher. You're a global teacher, Share Every. Everybody that hits this platform you have to upgrade that title to how you see yourself because you're speaking to nations in one call. You're a global teacher. What you have seen afar with your vision, as you become closer to it, it becomes clearer and then things start to become clearer. So you can't be tied to just doing the same thing. So we said, upgrade your relationships, upgrade your vision. Let me go back to relationships one more time. You need to upgrade your mentors. If you don't have a mentor, you need to upgrade your mentors this year. Mentors that are on the next level of where you're going to. And what's great about Share Every is there's multiple levels and multiple levels of mentors that are on one platform. So upgrade that. See who am I connecting to this year that's going to speak into my life at the level that I'm going to next year. Who do you need in your life to mentor you to go to that next level? Mentor your relationships again when you're talking about there are certain doors that share every will open because of the relationships that you met. It was because of share every, I connected with Yuri. Yuri connected me with somebody else's leadership platform. And now I'm being in next week in Ghana. After a relationship of being on there for a year, they saw the consistency of the brand and said, come on my platform. But I would have never been able to touch Ghana if Yuri didn't connect with me and give me more information and connect me with another person. That's the value of your relationships. Your relationships are only going to work to the level that you work them. So we said you're vision. We said your relationships. 
Now you're going to have to upgrade your network, your network of people, your connections. Your connections are based off of your relationships. You cannot have an effective network if you do not have an effective relationship because then your network becomes transactional rather than relational. So you're going to upgrade your network with the foundation of building strong relationships. It is relationships that we have that even though we don't talk much, that Coach Ron Babu can call me at any time and it's like, sir, can you come and talk to me? It's out of relationship that I will say yes, right? How are you dealing with your relationships this year? Are you transactional or are you relational? You've got to upgrade how you see. Because a lot of the trainers and a lot of the businesses teach networking from the transactional point of view. What can you do for me? What's in it for me? But when you're relational, we're like, how can we affect the world together? It's going to require you to collaborate. The key to this next 20 years that you're going to be doing is collaboration because we can do more together than I can do by myself. It's going to take your network and it's going to take your relationships to go into the fourth year or the fourth formation of Share Every. Relationship is going to have to be key. And then the last thing that you have to upgrade, and I'll close on this, is your level of exposure. You have to upgrade your level of exposure. You're going to have to talk to people that you might not have wanted to talk to before. You're going to have to interact with people that have totally different views with you, and it's okay. We don't have to agree on everything. We just, just got to agree to treat everybody right. And you'll find out that out of that exposure, you're going to be exposed to new things, new ways of thinking, new ways of doing, and new opportunities. All because you were willing to upgrade your relationships, your network, which causes you now to come on a totally different level of exposure. If you actually treasured the, looked at and valued your network and your relationship, we would be jumping in each other's backyards like it was nothing. Sandra's in Canada. So when she invites me to come to Canada and we go have some Canadian food because I like to eat, right? So what happens is when we do that, I'm going to come in her backyard and I'm going to be a superstar. And then when Sandra comes into my backyard, she's going to be a superstar. Why? Because my people don't know her people and you people don't know my people. So we look great. I hope that makes sense. When I come to India, I'm coming to India. I don't know when. I'm coming to Mexico. I don't know when. But when you do that, we're going to expose each other to our culture, to how we think, to how we do, and we learn from each other together. Are you ready for the upgrade? Now, the upgrade is a decision that has a cost to it. Because when I have to upgrade my iPhone, the one thing that I did was I just paid this phone off. I got to upgrade to another phone. <laughs> There's a cost to it. There's an investment to it, right? There's going to be an investment. Prepare for the investment. Upgrade your budget. Invest in coaches. Invest in platforms. Invest in the technology. Invest at the level that you can be responsible for. But either way, any way you look at it, it's going to be an investment. When Sandra talked to me today, she said the first thing she did was, I had to buy a new monitor. I had to buy a new computer monitor. Why? Because the old computer monitor wasn't working the way I needed it now. But when she gets to learn how to use that technology, she'll be more effective. She'll be more impact. She'll be more clear to her audience. Why? Because she was willing to make the upgrade. Share every, all my share everyans, are you willing to make the upgrade? My name is Chris Hampton out of New Jersey, United States of America, and I'm a proud share everyan.
and I will be here this year and I'll see you next year. Have a great day. Thank you. Oh my God. What a message you had forwarded, Sir Chris, really. It was an amazing journey being with you. And we will have many such talks from you in upcoming future. So thanks a lot, first of all, for spending your precious time with us. And what a topic to go with. Really, it was a need of an hour to be with this topic that is the upgrade. And being in Share Everin, I'm really proud. Yes, we are here to upgrade. We are already upgrading and we are on our journey. Thank you for such a wonderful message. So grateful to you, sir. Thanks from the bottom of my heart for giving your precious time for Share Everin. We value your timing. We value the way you spoke to us and the message that you have given. Yes, we'll keep on upgrading ourselves because we have become global. And we, this year, we are also going to tie up with American universities and many more concepts are coming in future. So yes, we are on the way to upgrade. And that was a much needed topic. Once again, thank you. you we are in your depth and you are an angel for our platform. Thanks once again. And everyone, please bring your hands together to thank Sir for this wonderful topic and for his generosity.